This is The Independence, where we don't shy away from criticism. This is my mom's least favorite segment, where we reach into the mailbag and pull out your vitriol, one angry letter at a time. Fox Business Human Resources Director Bernie Mac Smith rejoins us. This is Two Minutes Hate. It's good to have you, Bernie. Thanks for being here. You look great. Thank you, Kennedy. I appreciate the compliment. And you can compliment me further by being professional in your job. Let's just jump right into the emails. Gilmore writes, Luckily, Kennedy's evening Ritalin enema will keep her chatty until dawn when she returns to hanging from the studio rafters by her feet. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. That doesn't sound very nice, though. Pam writes, It seems like you can only have an independent viewpoint if you agree with Kennedy. Ouch. Pretty true. Kibby says. Just a little observation there, Pam. <laughs> now, you gave Bernie Sanders some independent cred when he was on here, and you don't necessarily agree with him. I did not fight him. Thank you, Matt. Kibby says, My mom already doesn't like Camille, despite agreeing with him on everything he said in the segment I showed her. I don't understand that at all. I, I think it implies, That's Camille, so that strange. you were technically correct, but personally dislikable. Huh. Oh, that's, not, uh, that's not necessarily good, Bernie. I'm a little sad, dinned by that. Grand Moff Serious Man writes, I'm beginning to suspect that Kennedy possesses only a finite number of earrings. She must spend the rest on booze and pet pills. <laughs> <laughs> little, uh, little independent speedball, I call it. i uh, just point out that uh, truth is always good defense in libel cases. Jim R. writes, Walsh is a sellout. <laughs> That's probably a reference to Matt Welsh. <laughs> the panels you bring in are far and wide the most infuriating idiots on the planet. Huh. Well, that's not really directed at us. Matt is the co-host. He's not a panelist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But Walsh is a total sellout. Whoever he is, he's a dick. <laughs> Salty Con writes, who dresses at Kennedy Nation? If she has any friends, why do they let her on the air donning mismatched granimals? <laughs> I don't have enough money left over from my booze and pet pills to buy friends, sadly. What, what is a Garanimal? It was, you know, it, it was like 70s and 80s kids clothing where you would, you would just match the tags and then you knew the outfit went together. Like if I had two giraffes, then I would know that it was safe to wear those things at the same time. Okay, well, I learned something on your show. Does sure. that explain Camille's sartorial excellence? Is it sartorial excellence? I'm not sure. I don't really feel great about myself today. I, th I think that's the one thing you're doing very well on, Camille. Thank you. Uh, there's another one from Benny Marr. I found Waldo. He's the tool that reads viewer complaints. <laughs> huh. Thank you, Benny. I'm missing book club to be here. That's great. Uh, finally, Alamanian says, this is kind of boring and sucks. Is Ron Paul still around? He was good. <laughs> Okay. Well, we had him on this episode, right? Yeah. It's, it's, so we're doing the right thing. Still in something, Alamania. Good. You, uh, you did a good job taking a, a current complaint and working them into the show. Good job, Bernie. I appreciate that. I take my job very seriously. I'm going to give you a review someday, so just be prepared for that. It's very right. I checked the employee manual. All right. Well, I'll be waiting for that. Very good. Thank you for watching tonight. Stossel is in the slots tomorrow night. Then Friday, we're back with a special show, What's Wrong with Libertarians? The whole hour, we will take some abuse from liberals and conservatives alike, trying to figure out what's wrong with us libertarians, why we're weird, why we lose elections, and, of course, why we're always right about everything. It's Friday night at 9 and midnight. I hope you're there for it. Thank you so much for being here. From Matt Welch and Camille Foster.